What do you want me to say? Something about your show? I shit on myself in the womb. Stop, Phil. You fucking stink. You know what? Fuck this. Oh, because it's Hollingsworth, but it's worth less. I don't want to hear about whatever you have to say. <laughs> the worthless of the week. Yeah. Hey, you just going to sit up there the whole time? <laughs> the fucking yeah. Phil Fox yeah. Scorpion. It's a move, man. You fucking dummy. Ugh. Ooh, Black people. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> shoot me now, dude. Just shoot me now. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Hollings Worthless Podcast. This will be for Wednesday, July 15th. As always, I'm your host, Big Irish Jay Hollingsworth. And we have the mascot, a.k.a. the philanthropist, a.k.a. Motown Philly, a.k.a. You want to throw one in? The philodactyl. A.K.A. the philodactyl coming at you like a Count Blackula, Count Chocula. I'm so Count sorry for this whole thing I just did. Oh, my God. Will you guys take me back? I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, and we have a guest with us uh, today. We're, we're doing this. Uh, we're doing the, this is a first timer for us. We're doing Phil and I are doing our now, uh, I guess, what's going to become normal, our Skype podcast. But we do the audio on a different uh, thing, but we're this is the first time we've had a guest where the guest is sitting next to me. Phil's in Seattle, and our guest uh, this week is how do you say your last name? Randy bro? Valerio. I was going to say I don't want to say Randy Valero. Well, usually, what do people usually, say? Usually people say Valero because of the gas station, but it's Valerio. There's an I O at the end. Valerio. Yes, sir. Valerio. Valeri- Valerian root. Valerian root. What? Right. Randy so Valerian Red root. Dude. Two reference. Oh. I think. AKA. That's his AKA, dude. It's Randy Valerian root. I'm happy to be here, sitting very close to Jay. <laughs> yeah, we're inside the Skype screen. Just, just two Phil. big men, so sitting very, very close, elbow to elbow, to, so we can see Phil. That's right. That's right. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not sure if it would be sexier if I watched. Nah, what? never mind. <laughs> I'm not what gonna go gonna for say? it. It would be sexy. I, I like that it's automatically sexy in his yeah. mind. The two, the two yeah, of us sitting next to each other. Well, it's definitely gonna be a jerk off uh, discussion there. What, do you want to sit in the middle and go cross? I guess which one would not be more sexy? Be which one would be more disgusting? Watching you two jerk off, or you both watching me jerk off? The thought of the thought of Definitely that. I don't know what. Because we're yeah. good looking. <laughs> and you'd be sitting next to each other, and you'd have to play who you know whoever gets the boner first loses. Now, what was the, you said earlier? There was something you wanted to talk about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Big hot take for the day. Yeah, what's your big hot take? Uh, you know, my big hot take uh, today is all about. Um, I, I'll oh say God. it, Jay. I don't give a shit. I was gonna save it for later, but if you want to hear it right oh now, um, no, I just have you guys seen the uh, the coffee bagel guy? Oh yeah, dude. He did was you on, see that he was fucking on YouTube fucking, video? Uh, Norton, do you do you see him? Of course. Oh, okay, he was on Norton and Sam on Sirius XM. Oh no shit! For an hour and fifteen. <laughs> what do they have to talk about for an hour and fifteen minutes? That so, little midget. Uh, for anybody, <laughs> dude, he's five feet. He's five feet even. And what's great wow. is if you li- don't listen to that interview, you got to watch it. Okay. Because if you listen to it, you may not get it. But if you watch it, they fuck with this guy so much, and he has no idea that they're fucking with him. Like, oh, he goes along. He just, no kidding. No, he, th- he thinks that they, like, he'll tell a story, and both Jim and Sam are just like, yeah, you fucking told. And he thinks that they're in agreement with him, <laughs> and they are just fucking with him for an hour. No shit. Yeah, like they're and he's like, just an idiot enough to believe. Dude, like he finally found the two people. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> that like, get him. He says like at some, you know, all the shit about the his problem with women, and Jim is like, yeah, you know, I mean, sometimes they just they act that way, and the guy's like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So that's is it, crazy. Is it, do we know whether or not he's like a midget or a dwarf or an elf? Like what is he like, Danny DeVito, midget, or is he like well, dwarf? Oh, like I think Brad I think no. What he is, what he is, is um. An asshole is what he is. <laughs> <laughs> no, so he, uh, well, the, the legal uh, measurement to be considered a little person, dwarf. Oh, sorry, that I used the wrong words. Uh, yeah, sorry. I don't know. But you, it's 4'11 or under. Okay, so he's just a short guy. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Well, mm-hmm. I'm not very tall. I'm five ten. I'm normal height, but I mean, like five feet is pretty is pretty stiff, especially for a kid or a guy. Yeah, Jesus, I mean, kid. That's, right. that's that's shorter than most Mexican women. <laughs> you know, that, that's uh, that's a tough pull. Yeah, he's got to date fair. girls in middle school, or you know, uh, dude. <laughs> yeah, what, and what, do you, what was what was your hot take on it, Phil? Uh, well, so what's interesting is that it, it it so it came off as it was just this random shit that 
that popped up as viral. And then I guess it came out later, like that he's actually uh, he's got a series of YouTube videos oh, yeah. where he, he I guess he's kind of it almost looks like it could be manufactured. Like yeah. he's doing this to to be a character or a profile. And it's like if I don't I, like what's the fucking point, you know, so like he's where's he going with small this? Guy. That's like his thing. Well, so I've seen some of the videos. Would, but when he was on Jim, Jim and Sam, he was like, watch this video, watch this. And it's like his buddy that's just drunk. And he is dying laughing at this. And they're looking at him like, okay, you got to watch the interview with it. It's, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, that sounds interesting. But it's like, even if so, like, why, why is that something we needed in the world? You know what I mean? Short Somebody people? that's going around. <laughs> exactly right. Coming from the Show big man, I know. People got no reason to live. <laughs> what I don't understand. So what? The great Randy Newman, by the way. Sorry. So my namesake. I, I want to know. So I, I saw. I, Randy. I saw. I, <laughs> I saw. I saw. So I saw the guy like like yoke him up at the end of that original yeah. video. I want to know how that worked out. Like did that, that little guy get his ass whipped. I mean, I assume he did. Uh, but he like he was like taking on all comers, and he and he really like the guy he, went after him. Yeah. He uh, right. He, uh, what did he say? He, well, he bitched about it afterwards. He's like, because like three times my size. And Sam was like, you said to come at you. <laughs> and so the guy did. And the, the fucking dude was like, yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. You know, it's a, you got to watch that interview. You'll fucking yeah. love it. What's, yeah, what's, it what's set off his, his, his initial anger at, at the bagel plot? Spot? <clears throat> so he said obviously he's angry. He's small, but like, did someone like, like put their hand on his head and rub it or something? No, he said there's an <laughs> Indian lady there that, uh, was like ignoring him. I think he was saying, and then she was well, like, she couldn't see him over the counter. What's up? She couldn't see him over the counter. Yeah. And so he, he finally was just like, uh, what are you laughing at? Or what are you smirking at? And then that's how it all started. But he's got a yeah. And you heard something about d- dating profiles yeah. or something like that too. But something he when you say you're a short guy yeah. and dating profiles. Yeah, he talks about on the on the thing like he's had some. He he talked about like this one girl he loved and she was the one and he she's a great girl and I don't want to say anything bad about her. But and then he is this your that's not your foot. Um, and then he uh, talks about um, uh, that d- girls on dating profiles and they they fucking use you and all this other horse shit. You use know. him for what? I don't know for fucking to get the stuff on make, the lower shelves. Make Keebler cookies. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they just stick his whole his whole body into their pussy as it because he's small enough to be a dildo. Thank you, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Today's joke of the podcast. What if he's what if he's just got a fucking you know a hammer? Oh. How, how funny would that be? It's like it's like oh I'm the little guy, but I got a hammer of a six Dude. foot seven guy. You know, like hey. good for him. <laughs> you should lead with that instead of being like yeah I'm short, but look how big this. But maybe on he me. doesn't have that. Well, I probably he, pro- he probably doesn't. You know, I mean, like I assume if he's smaller in height, everything else is pr- proportionate. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I always tell people, women. I'm like, I'm just average for a guy six eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Phil. <laughs> Good one, Jay. Thanks. Um, uh, so, so I want to know a little bit more about Randy, and oh, I'm sure okay. people right, that haven't uh, heard him on the podcast before would like to know a little bit more about well, him. Well, I'm a tourist. <laughs> I like Latin women. Yeah. Well, how often are you out here nice. if you're a tourist? A tourist. Oh, oh, oh zing, pow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Phil loves it. <laughs> we got him. Uh, we got him. Uh, what do you want to know about me? We got him. What do you want to know about me, Phil? Were you, were you trying to date? you want to know about my dating profile? What, like, what, what, here, what here's something here? I want to know. Um Here's something I was thinking about. We could ask. We could ask guests. Um, is uh, what? What's the? What's the most worthless thing that you've um, like that that you would be embarrassed to doing uh, this podcast <laughs> <laughs> to admit to it having Google searched in like the last oh. uh, it recently? What's the most embarrassing thing that you would admit to Google oh, searching that's recently? One. That's that's a great one. Um, what if he comes out with Phil Fox Mastery? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this is so weird, Phil. So, you would, yeah, there's a big cube. Yeah, you could well, find a huge cast. He's got a whole YouTube channel based on his <laughs> name and whacking off. Um, <laughs> uh, what have I Googled weird la- lately? I mean, I Google a lot of weird shit because I'm one of these guys that, like, anytime I don't know anything, like, something about a subject, I'll get into it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably the most embarrassing thing I Googled recently was looking for lawyers in West Texas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to talk about that? Oh, shit. We can talk a little bit about yeah. it. I mean, it's, it's unresolved. It's, I don't even have a lawyer yet. But, okay, uh, this is all allegedly. Alleged, allegedly, I was I was picked up in West Texas 
Well, here, let's back up. So, yeah. all right. So, I met Randy. It, Randy's a comic from Boston. I met Randy in Boston. Did his did, shout out to your podcast. Yeah, Ready Set Blow podcast. Me and Chase Sable every week, every Wednesday. Guys, look it up. Ready nice. Set Blow. I mean, it comes nice. out the same day as ours, so we maybe yeah. Check it out on Thursday. Check it out on Thursdays. <laughs> no, so uh, it's back to back, baby. Yeah, That's right. So Randy is moving. Uh, he's currently right now where he's in the middle of moving from Boston to L.A. Uh, open tours a lot with Jeff Die. Opens for Jeff Die a lot. And um, nice. he was uh, on his way here, going through Texas, and and yeah, I was I was driving from uh, from Fort Worth to to Phoenix, and I got picked up uh, in a town, uh, you know, in West Texas. I won't say which one, so that DAs can't fucking search on that. Um, and I had uh, my medical cannabis in the car, and that became a problem. Uh, so I got charged with some with a. Uh, a felony possession, which is all public public record at this point. Oh fuck! Felony. A fucking felony possession well, for fucking I mean, weed. Th- well, uh, th- well, that's it. So the thing is, apparently in Texas, particularly, you also had some Asian children in the trunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, that'll do just, it. You know. Yeah, it, it, well, it counts more. It, it's weird. It's, and, 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 and in 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 West, you Texas, sure they weren't it, just a five foot adult? <laughs> Zing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. No. So uh, so apparently in Texas. Having uh, like joints is not a big. It's like it's a it's a misdemeanor, not a felony. But they don't like weed oils and edibles. And I have a medical cannabis card in Massachusetts, and it was I had some in my trunk, I guess, allegedly. Alleged. Alleged. Right. And right. Uh, they didn't like that, and the and they were strong, and based on their strength, I was charged with a second degree felony. Dude. Yeah. That's so much bullshit. So now you have I to mean, deal with that shit. With, yeah. with with how much how many states are fucking legalized now and. and and they're talking about decriminalizing a lot of people's uh, past, you know, um, convictions and shit like yeah. that, and letting them go. Like to have it still be a felony, felony in in some states. That's it's fucking bullshit. Yeah, I mean, well, that's, that's so stupid. Well, that's one of the weird things I think about it with is like, it's like how do you how do you manage that? Like, if it's super illegal in Texas, which is you know six seven hours from from Colorado. How the hell, like it's like two different countries. It's like uh, there's not supposed to be borders within the states, but there's borders within the states. It doesn't yeah. make it. It's yeah. like it's, uh, not to compare it to slavery, but it was oh, obviously. Boy. All right. I'm not. Compa- I'll be back. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. And I'm three, just, two, I'm just, one. I'm just, all right. I'm just. Uh, I'm just saying like well, that. We had a good run. Dude, it would be, be like. Pro- it would be like. It would be like. Pro- all right. Let's go with prohibition. Yeah. It would be, like, it would be right. like if if half the states, uh, you know, kept prohibition on the on the books, and the other half didn't. So it's like, yeah. well, how do you police? It's impossible to police that. Yeah, Dude, you know, it's. I, I wonder if it's like they know that this can be their thing where they can make money, and, uh, and so they keep it on the books. I that's that's one thing I don't want to get into because I I have an opinion on that that is oh, yeah. <laughs> that is very very pointed. And I'm I think sure, the, I mean, I'm the sure they, attorney of the county in which I was I was charged with these fought with these. Uh, alleged crimes would not like my opinion uh, heard okay. on that, so right. gonna, I, will, I, will, sure. I will abstain from commenting on that. But it's but then in Colorado right now too. I mean, if we want to just go eat some motherfucking magical mushies, bro. If we just wanted some of those fucking psychedelic mushies, bro, we could go up into Colorado right now this? and eat them, and, and it's not the even Oman a big impression? deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Feel non. Yeah, no, I love him, dude. He's so great. But um, no, but seriously, I mean, you can uh, you can go there and. And eat. Uh, you can do mushrooms now in Colorado, and it's totally decrim- decriminalized, right? Well, yeah. I mean, well, that's the big thing too. I mean, I, I feel like the states that are legalizing it are actually making a ton of oh, money. Yeah, because you're just getting every other state around them to Dude. just fly and they fl- flood the place and, and hand their money over. Dude, it, yeah. Seattle, fucking. What was they were making like billions, didn't they? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. think about like, like, like yeah. dude, Las Vegas is losing money. Now <laughs> other states are legalizing sports gambling <laughs> and and regular casino gambling. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're, they're going to be on the losing end oh, of a bunch of bread, dude. You know, and then talk about if you want to talk about how how you profit and make money, dude. I mean, you think they're going to make more money by by giving people out fucking tickets and, and criminalizing it instead of just taxing the shit and selling it yeah. legally. You know what I mean? There's so much more money to be made if you, if you legalize it versus uh, sitting there yeah. and, and getting the pennies when you, the most of the money at that point is going to go to the fucking lawyer that you got to hire to, you know, get your, your, your fucking case dropped to a lesser charge with a lesser fine anyway. Yeah. So it's not even the government well, that's, that's making I the mean, money. That's how, and that's, and that's unfortunate. That's how it works. Like the weird thing is <laughs> once, once he's smart, he is, he feels great. But yeah, once, once, well, that's the thing, once Colorado and Washington 
And people, I mean, like Colorado made like two or three billion dollars the first year in, in revenue on it. Once the state saw the amount of money they were making, like, well, uh, literally seven more followed yeah. the next the next year when they voted right. on these referendums. Because I mean, like, look, money talks in this country. This country is capitalist first, democratic second. You know, like. Boom. If you can make mm -hmm. money, that becomes legal. You know, like Randy's wicked smart. <laughs> wicked, wicked, no, wicked. I, just, I, I have a lot of opinions, and I like to oh. I like to give them unsolicited. And did you? Uh... No, I, I like it. I like it. And I'll say this: I th I kind of um, feel you <coughs> because today I just actually went and got my uh, driver's license reinstated because I had to go through some fucking bullshit. I don't know how much we talked about. How my... many DUIs did you have? <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> well, technically zero because it got dropped to a lesser charge. There you go. Congratulations. But yeah, so I um, I'm gonna go get my blow and go off of my uh, off my car here. It's his girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> in a, in a couple days, um, and really I can't wait those? for that to happen. Oh, dude, yeah. He, he, Randy just but, asked if they really have those. Uh, dude, what? and not only a do blow they and have go. It, not only do they have it, his is fucking. It can't be safe. He'll be so he has to blow in it before you, you know, and it it beeps to let him know he can start his car, and then he'll be driving, and then it he has to do it while oh, he's yeah, driving. Oh yeah, in the car with me, Jay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Every the whole four time? minutes. Is that how you call so you gotta you blow, blow it with the start it. <laughs> Four minutes after, uh, four minutes after you start driving, you gotta blow in it again, and then every ten to forty minutes randomly, it'll choose a time that you have to do it again. So it just assumes you're getting like blasted in your yeah. car while you're driving. Yeah, it just is there to keep you sober, man, to keep you driving sober, I guess. But here's the thing that I was going to say about that is... And it takes a picture. Talk, talk about, yeah, to make sure that's you, but to, to um, talk about money and everything like that. Dude, if you think about it, if you put a, a fucking interlock on every single car in America... Oh, yeah. Do you know how, like, we would... Do you know how many accidents and lives would be saved? Oh, yeah. Do you know how many tickets that we would avoid? I mean... It sucks that that the cost of 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 doing business, I guess, in in the fucking America is to let people go kill themselves <laughs> drinking and driving and I mean, to pull them over for DUIs. Well, yeah, but I think I think it's also well, yeah, because insurance, dude, the, the insurance liquor. companies too. I mean, those yeah, those fucking car go crashes go and go shit like that. They're gonna what? Go. what? I said you're getting they're gonna make so go. much money. Yeah, no, but it's true. It's true. I mean. I mean, you got to pay all that insurance money. Everybody's going to profit off of somebody drinking and driving, you know, uh, no matter what the end result is, whether or not somebody dying or not. Well, so. that's that's actually the insurance companies are actually the ones that, that sort of control all that, because the thing, the thing about seatbelts, they don't no one like theoretically, if you want to kill yourself in this country, obviously it's illegal, but no one gives a shit about you. Like, yeah. But it's really the insurance companies that that push for seatbelt programs because it reduces the cost of an accident because it reduces the risk of injury. Mm. It has nothing to do with them giving a shit about the human in the car. It has everything uh, to do with the insurance companies lobbying car uh, lobbying Congress to make car manufacturers put seatbelts and airbags in so the cost of any accident goes down. Look at that. You know, I like it. I mean, it's, it's all, it's all, <laughs> yeah. everything, everything revolves around money. I mean, that's, um, that's just the way this country works. And look, you, you, you got to accept that, but sometimes you got to take the good with the bad, right? Obviously, insurance, like, do people, insurance, co do insurance companies now, like uh, auto insurance companies, like make it sound like, oh, we'll reduce your pay if you put this safe, oh, safe fuck, driver yeah. thing in there. So, like, oh, I'm going to let my yeah, insurance yeah, yeah. company track my driving to reduce my fucking thing. It's like, no, no, yeah. I'd rather pay more so you don't know what I'm doing in my car. Yeah. The fuck? That's exactly. Fuck. Right. The invasion of privacy is what really bothers me. It's like, why do, why do you? care what i'm doing on my time yeah you know and it's it's really even if they give you a discount it's just more data that they that they of have course, so they can which they sell yeah, other people like manipulate. Facebook. Yep. just like that old mm -hmm. man face thing that's going around right now oh, yeah. that company is is is, is literally building f like facial facial recognition ai and stealing all of your photos all at once while you while sure. everyone's putting that shit on that stupid filter on yeah. i was very te i will say i was very tempted to try it today and because you just said that i might think twice about doing it but i definitely want to know what i would look like oh, as an I old did fucking it. did you yeah i did uh <laughs> i also did the female one where it shows you what you look like as a woman I was telling Randy, I look like every white woman that's called in something on a person of color. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like I already know what you look like as a woman, though. What does that mean? Oh. Because <laughs> you, uh, you so hot. <laughs> you, know, you know what I did with the old man face app, the old, the old face app? I actually uh, put in uh, photos of uh, was, like the nudes of, of some women I, I, I date. <laughs> what the fuck? To see what they look like when they get older. Oh, like, shit. Is this, is, is, is oh. this the woman I want to grow old with? Yeah, you know? that's and funny. I, and now their nudes are on there instead of my face. That, you know, so so fuck those. That's women. great. Yeah. So you're just, yeah. I sold you're them just out, fucking over, and, I, yeah. and I also fucking got a over the future period, for them. A free peek into the future, whether or not I want to marry this woman <laughs> or these women, that's, for that matter. That's brilliant. Uh, I like. I it. try. 
Should do that. Should fucking just do that on Tinder. Get it out of the way now. That's be like, hilarious. yo, send me a, send me a picture of your face through, uh, or just post it back to him. And be like, yo, I can't believe this is what you ended up looking like. See ya, <laughs> dude. That actually be a pretty. Uh, Will Noonan did that out in Boston. He when the uh, when the when the the, uh, the whatever the transgender face app came out. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he start he 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 used his face and put that that female filter on it and then started. Oh, dude, a t- yeah, that's right. Started a Tinder page. And and, and and a bun- and he got a lot of funny inbounds, which he was you know he would put on the so internet. So crazy. But I would love to start a, like a, like a like an old man like whatever the uh, what's what's the growing old app? What, what, they have that? Face app or whatever. Oh, no, they have an, they have a they have a dating app. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can you see that, Phil. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> they have a dating they have a dating app. Was that you in two years? <laughs> uh, dude, it's fucking. I look like a fucking pedo. That's hilarious. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, I look like a fucking no. pedophile. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, right. you look like a fucking serial murderer. Oh god, but, uh, sorry. No, it's fine. But uh, I was wondering, like, there's, there's definitely a, an app out there for older people to date. I forget what it's called. It's specifically for 50 and older. Uh, um, but I would love to take a photo of myself, put it on that, and see what kind of old trim I'd pull. Uh-huh. Oh, you that's know? fucking. That's good. And then what I could, then what you, as a as a poor comic, what you can do is, you know, start chatting with them. Like, hey, listen, I'm actually. Only 36, so I look way better. But if you're still into me, <laughs> I'll, I'll be down to... They, oh, dude, you totally look like me. <laughs> dude, yeah. uh, Phil, this is the picture. I'll be down to take your trust fund when you die, Exactly. Bitch. That's exactly the point, yeah. Phil. Oh, now... What the hell? What is that? That's me as a woman. That's Big Irish as Jerry as a old lesbian. Woman or, <laughs> what? Yeah, what? As an old woman or just you as a just woman? Just me as a fucking barbecue oh, Becky. jeez. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I just like the thought of the, the face out, if what you're talking about with the... Um, the dating to see if what they look like and the thought of her going why'd you ghost me and you just go because you look like a fucking ghost <laughs> oh, the old crypt keeper. Wait, wait. Yeah, it was pretty oh, good come God. on he was gonna go with fuck, it I fuck know. you jay he doesn't know to <laughs> let you just bomb um oh yeah i'm sorry i, I didn't know that's sorry. how you guys do it i always try i always try to you know yeah. Oh no, we just sit. He tries it. to make a good podcast, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I try you know, to support my co-host. Uh, yeah. Randy, you'd be perfect for your segment. What's the segment? Oh, good, good. Um, we'll get, into, let's get oh, into it. That's interesting. He just asked, "What's the segment?" Well, let me tell you, oh, oh, ladies and oh, sorry, <clears throat> clear the go. throat here. Get that oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another. So he has a segment called Phil the Phil Fox Detox. Fox Detox. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> Go over it. Go ahead. Still no, we got to do it. your song. Do it. Oh, another freestyle? Oh, one more time for everybody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another Phil Fox Detox. Ping, ting, ling, ting. Ping, ting. Oh, okay. God. He does it all with his all mouth, right. too. That all, yeah. That's what we always say. <laughs> you, you, you do it all with his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Go ahead. Hit Yikes. him, Phil. Uh, welcome to the uh, Phil Fox Detox, the show within the show. Yeah, there you go. Um, okay, so I just want to uh, – my favorite question because I've gone – I've had a lot of crazy uh, – Not uh, you, your, your brother. Drug and alcohol experiences your myself. Brother, right? So, I, Yeah, the, it's my cousin, cousin. Bill Wolf. Um, it's not Phil Fox. Uh, it's cousin Bill Wolf. Yeah. Bill Coyote. So I'd like to know about our guest, the, the craziest uh, time that you uh, – the craziest story you have about getting the most fucked up on drugs and or alcohol. Oh, man. Yeah. I got lots of those. Um, yeah, but like, yeah, the one that would go down in the history books. I mean, there's some, there's some that, uh, that well, look, we all, know, I don't know if you guys play by these rules, but there are, there are levels of, of deprav- the depravity that I, you know, that you, you share. And then there's the yeah. stories that like, that only you and a couple of Well, close- this is going to be listened to by like four people. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, we're going to talk about me whoring Which three of them people. are sitting right yeah. here right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you never know what could happen down the road. Plus, uh, I don't want you to say anything that might do yeah. anything with your court. Well, stuff. you can yeah. just say this was, uh, you know, something that happened in your history that was, yeah, right. allegedly that you're, you're yeah, not I'm that not, way I'm anymore. not worried about that. Look, but also, I, I would podcast, say, yeah. If, she li- if, if, if whatever DA I, I, I draw it listens to any one of my episodes <laughs> in the podcast, on my own podcast, I'm fucked. But uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't need to hear about the time you fucking overdosed and, I've never and overdosed. decided to get I've never sober. Overdosed. But but th- there are like there are things that like you know I don't know if you guys I said play by these rules, but there are things that like your buddy like that you'll the stories you'll tell at a party, yeah, and then stories you'll tell your buddies, and then stories that you'll tell like your close circle of friends, 
and then the stories that you have with like just one other buddy that you guys have for each yeah, other tell us that and one. don't tell anybody. <laughs> and then there are stories that you've done alone and oh, you're like, yeah. fucking no one oh, gets yeah. to know what I did. Yeah, in so that, that time that you uh, sucked, sucked off that dude <laughs> because you got too fucked up and it's just you and him that know about it. <laughs> no, but I mean, look, look, I'll be honest. I've done a lot of, I've done a ton of partying in college, uh, a ton of partying in college, obviously, and partying after that. Um, I, I, I've dabbled in, you know, all the drugs you could imagine in college, you know, the psychedelics and weed and all that bullshit and you know uh, i was it. never big on i, I don't like it. pills i'm not i don't like any i like natural shit just because i feel i feel like if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna do drugs do them illegally no. <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, like your drug dealers want to kill you because he's gonna lose yeah, business yeah. your doctor can give a fuck if you die yeah. you know yeah. like your doctor has a uh, is already a millionaire and has a bunch of other patients and they come and they come in his door your drug dealer has to go out and find you yeah. you know what i'm saying like yeah so you know, your drug dealers want you dead. You're only good to him alive. Right. You know, they, they pay cash. If you die, the insurance company still pays your, your, your doctor. Yep. Um, so, uh, but, I mean, I, look, I've been, I've been, all, I've, I've parted in Lebanon. I've parted in Colombia. I've parted in Costa Rica. I've parted around the world. And th- That's the amazing. rules elsewhere don't apply. So, uh <laughs> okay, give me give me a give me an around the world story. I want to hear something that happened outside the United yeah, States. Yeah, cr- uh, outside so, the United so States. So I mean, getting fucked up with people that can understand you is one thing, but getting <laughs> fucked up around people you can't understand Dude, and like, can't understand you're like, Bro, you. I'm so high, I don't even know what you're saying. He's like, yeah, I'm not speaking <laughs> English. You fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so a friend of mine, uh, a friend of mine went down to uh, a Central American country. Uh, there were like five of us. Uh, we were on, uh, you know, it's a, a guy's trip. And Whoa. well, it was, it was five, it was five <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It wasn't us fucking each other, yeah. but uh, yeah, but we go down boring. there, and you know, it, it, the, uh, in every other country except the United States, as far as I can, I, I can tell, prostitution is legal, okay? Uh, and actually, in this country, in some states, it is, yeah, but uh, but, yes. but this place, <laughs> like, it was like an all inclusive, whatever you want, uh. And all these substances were legal in the country. So whatever, whatever narcotic you wanted was all legal. Whatever woman you you get, whatever Brazil? you want, no. something like that. Right, go, go something Sorry. like that. Yeah, they spoke Spanish. It uh, wasn't Brazil, but they spoke Spanish. Um, it was in Central America, and we went down. And by the way, Jay, just to clear things up, Brazil's not in fucking Central America. I didn't you know he fucking was Central America. I just said Brazil. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, look at the, the one fact. The one fact he knows is going to chime in on it. Yeah. <laughs> Where is Brazil then? On well, the east or west? It's in fucking South America. Central America is not in South America. Name, you idiot. Name one country bordering Brazil. Fucking Peru. Good job. Oh. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> also Uruguay. <laughs> fucking Paraguay. Uruguay. Get the fuck um, out of here. Yeah. No, you're a fucking guay. <laughs> Did you want a pair of them? Mm. You want a pair? <laughs> no, so we're down Paragase. there. So we're down there, and uh, we're all Ugh. we're all partying, and uh, and they have like a, we rented this this uh, we all pitched in and rented this compound that had like three cabanas on it um, that had like two bedrooms each, like six of us or whatever, and like a big pool in the middle and a, and a big you know, cabana house and all this. So we real quick, because yeah. uh, this is so interesting to me. So how long did you guys go down or go to five this place? days, six days, five days, how five nights, six days. Okay, how how much was it? Uh, total or split between you guys? I mean, it was like fifteen hundred bucks each, or all in, all in. Fifteen hundred bucks wow. for no, all no, no. of you? For, no, for each of us. Oh, all in. Okay, fifteen hundred. So yeah. like seven hundred bucks for the flights, and another gotcha. seven hundred bucks for the place. Fucking great. Yeah, all right. exactly. All right. Um, Sweet. And they and they'll and the, and they have like uh, like a, what they call a hostess. Uh, she's a, and how much more? How much more did you pay for the prostitution? That, uh, that's all a la- inclusive. Well, no, that's a la carte. Uh, I mean, you, the, the, it, or like a la carte. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all right. and you could dabble in that, or you didn't. Some guys did, some guys didn't, because obviously there's there's yeah. there's women down there who like that's so also crazy, on vacation. Though. You can get like oh, local yeah. women, uh, not only local women but, but other women who come there from you know for their own vacations. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but it was legal in the country, so they'd be like, if you want women, we can take you to a place to go right. make a selection, like a fucking buffet. But. Uh, but the hostess is an American woman who's down there. It's like setting all this up for you. And she's and when she fly out, she's giving you the rules. All right, this is li- all the what all this stuff is legal, and I can get you all this stuff. If you want, what kind of food do you want? What kind of booze? I'll stock your refrigerator. Whatever you want. Um, if you guys want uh, drugs, uh, just let me know. Page, you know, uh, text me, and I'll, and I'll call you back. Don't right. use the house phone. <laughs> don't request, you know, just because you know that's the local phone, and you know right. we don't want them listening. Right. Right. So we're there for about 90 minutes, and one of my buddies just goes through 
like a fucking eight ball. I mean, he oh just he just God. he tore through it. Jesus, you know, and we're, and we're getting loaded. He's like, oh, we're all. He's like, I'm all, I'm already all done with what I bought. I think her name was Heather. She was the hostess. He's like, I, was like, I, I gotta call Heather. All right. He's like, okay. First thing he does, is she goes through the whole list. I mean, like literally 20 minutes of like, you can get whatever you want. Just don't do these three things. Don't, don't call me on a local yeah. phone. You know. Don't uh, don't fuck with it because we had an armed guard at like like a post. Jesus. Outside the compound because they don't want people Americans they don't want anyone yeah. fucking around. Um, and then she also it's like a Joseph, if, movie. Any, if you have any problem with any of your guests, go talk to the, the security guard. Do not engage with the, with them. You know you don't want to get yeah. into a scuffle with a, with, a, with local women or a local All guys. Right. Just get him. He'll take care of it. Um, I mean, we were there for less than 90 minutes, and he he ran through this stuff so fucking quick, Jesus. and it was strong. I was like I, I, I was like I don't know how you're doing it. And also, I like the thought of, hey, you know when you fucked up when you when the guy pulls out his fucking gun and blasts you in exactly. the face about three exactly. seconds. <laughs> right. So he starts he starts shouting at the security guard, which is the first thing. Don't fuck with the security guard. He's right. shouting, give me Heather's number. I lost her number. Give me Heather's number. And the, guy, and the guy's like, uh. So he, give her Heather, he, he gives her Heather's number. He walks right to the house phone oh. and calls her up. He's like, he's like, okay, what do you guys need? He's like, we need like four bo- like uh, you know two more bottles of scotch. Uh, an, another eighth of weed, and I need and I need four more eight balls of coke. And she goes, whoa, 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 whoa. What the and, fuck? And he's, like, and he's like, don't, he's like, don't say that. He's like, no, no, no. I'm like, you heard me. I need oh more my coke. God. And she hung up the phone. Jesus. Christ. Oh she was, my God. She was there in ten minutes and said, if you ever do that again, I'm gonna have to throw you out. And I'm like, listen, you're not gonna throw us out. Throw that motherfucker. Yeah, out. exactly. You know, put him outside the gate. <laughs> uh, you, so you didn't fuck it up for all no, of us. You yeah. just yourself. You fucking. So th- Idiot. Yeah, so this happened This happened two more times, and we had to pay her off to, st- to keep working with us. But uh, but I'll tell you this. Heather did a great job because she did come through with whatever he wanted. And she brought, and when she came back the second time he called her, she's like, hey, I have, I've, you know, I met some girls at this local bar. I told them there's a group of guys out here who want to hang out. And she just brought girls over that we didn't even Jesus. know. It was, it was, I was like, I was like, do people know about this? Yeah. What's going on here? And, and uh, apparently they do because... Every time I, I, I'm not gonna say the name of the country yeah. or where I was, but when I tell people uh, by in my personal life where this was, they always say, "Oh, have you been to you know X Y Z bar?" I won't say the name of the bar, okay. and that's like the code for, "Oh, this is like the, the, you, you went with this travel gotcha. company." So it's like, a, like one of these whisper things. Like oh yeah, yeah. A, it's, it's like a, it's like a poor Latin. Yeah, yeah. So as soon as we're done recording, party. if you can just whisper that to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. No, but it was, I mean that was him. I was I was young at that, but I was, I was this was like uh, just, I think right after college or something like that. So well, dude, uh, Jim Norton and Patrice and I think Bobby Kelly too, but they used to go to Brazil. And the the they'd go to these whorehouses, and they would just go down there to these whorehouses and fucking go well, it's nuts. Well, not if listen, down there. It's not odd like that. But I'll tell you this, dude. I was I've been to Colombia twice. This wasn't in Colombia, but I've been to Colombia twice in my like in my, at recovery, my 30s. right? No, I'm telling you, in my thirties. <laughs> yeah. No, in my thirties, and there are tons of working women down there. And the rule is, in every South American in South American country I've been into, and Central America, if they're wearing high heels at night, they're working. If they're wearing flats or sneakers. They're not. They're locals. Interesting. Are fine. Interesting. Yeah. So and, and so you so you don't know. Like you don't know. Like unless you go to directly to a whorehouse, mm-hmm. you don't know. So even in the street, like at night in Colombia, they have b- like block parties, and you can't tell them apart other than looking at their feet. Like that's like Damn. the locals all know the rule. Damn. I will say though, but the one I, thing that col- scares me the most about fucking doing any of that kind of stuff, uh, illegal or uh, fucking with like trying to find prostitutes in, in other countries like that. <laughs> no, is 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 getting locked up, dude. Uh, I mean, when you get, I, I've heard of bad stories about people in Brazil getting locked up. Do you remember and, when they, we interviewed they, Goose? That's right. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, you're guilty. You're guilty um, until proven innocent. Oh, you know yeah, what I yeah. mean? The like, rules don't apply. You just go away for years, dude. But that's why. That's why you. That's why you pay for a host to, to mm. keep it to keep you out of that kind of trouble. But for the most part, they don't want Americans mm. going down there and getting <laughs> fucked up. I mean, the cops. That you have to worry more about the cops shaking you down Damn. than the local gangs are shaking you down. Because if the gang can shake you down and an American turns up dead, they're fucked. Because then the cops lose money. At the uh. tourists because all fucked up. But if the cops are shaking you down or catch you doing anything illegal, that's, that's why, like, if you got caught pissing in the street in Thailand, they're going to hem you up on that way faster than uh-huh. they will trying to, try to pinch you on trying to get a hooker or anything like that. Gotcha. You know? But, um, that's so, but, uh, so backwards. But I can, tell you this, I can tell you this for a fact. I've been to Columbia twice, didn't, didn't pay for any sex, and there's plenty of it down there. The women are beautiful. Oh, God, they're yes. plentiful. They, they love Americans. They, and they're, uh, they're just much more sexual, much more, um, f- I don't want to say feminine, Free? but, like, Free? Free, yeah. No, no. I mean, like you know, free and <laughs> yeah, like free spirit. Free. Yeah, they, yeah. They, 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 they accept like their female sexuality. Like they, they don't expect like they want you to be the man. They want to be the woman, mm. and they're and they're cool with like the sexuality of it. 
Um, so, uh, so the local women are. It's like I was like, why would you pay for it if there's all these local yeah. women? But you like like Patrice did, and uh, some of my friends they prefer to pay for it because they like the act of paying for. Like they think it's they think it's arousing to like oh. Mm. You know, one of my buddies used to jokingly say, "Well, that taboo, that taboo." Yes, exactly, kind of. exactly. It's like you know, like any other taboo. And one of my buddies used to say all the time, "It's like it's not sex unless you pay for it." <laughs> it was it was his motto? What? You know, like, <laughs> yeah. which, which we we all laughed at at the time. Yeah. But like, if you think about it, like that was his kink. Yeah. You know, that was his thing. So I, can you can you blame the guy? I don't. You know, I mean, yeah. like, I wasn't. I mean, you end up paying thing. for it no matter yeah, what. You anyway, right? Do. You always do. <laughs> it wasn't my thing, but it was his thing. You know, so God bless him. So how he's married now with, with a kid you, and one on the way. You told us how you got fucked up, though. Like, what was the? That was the whole point of this story. Is you have to tell us the time when you got hammered. That was good enough. Oh, I don't. Oh, okay. you, 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 you don't didn't feel comfortable that, that was all me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get the subtext. A friend. I like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. Uh, all right. Do you want to close out your? And that's another Phil Fox detox. Pew 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 pew. I just love how much joy it brings you. Does, does, do you. Do you do that segment so you make yourself feel better about your Deweys? Um, <laughs> no, he's been doing no, it before. I just, the Deweys. <laughs> no, there, there, there was just you know, um, I'm, I'm not in my 20s anymore. I'm in my 30s now, and I will say that I lived my 20s to the, to yeah. the fullest. Dude, he's done name so, a drug. I, uh, uh, yeah, pr- pretty much. No, no, I haven't done a, a lot of hallucinogenics, but I, I'm finding. Well, I've found <laughs> uh, Bill Wolf, my cousin. He's, I think. Uh, <laughs> better like more accepting of them now so if he wanted to venture down those pathways at some point in time um i think yeah he's Meth. open to those experiences yeah heroin <laughs> i actually once yeah. walked crack in. crack wow yeah you've done crack huh well bill wolf well bill, bill wolf uh, did, bill wolf decided to try in la find crack when in Rome, man. <laughs> L.A., baby. <laughs> Just down the skid row looking for rocks. Uh, That's actually, exactly right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> skid row. Uh, How, what, is, what, is cra- we don't, what, what did Bill say crack was like? Uh, I gotta say, scary. I got to say, by the way, I love Bill Wolf. Bill Wolf, yeah, I, he's I think a, it's a fucking crazy great guy. Great addition. All right, so, yeah, tell, the, tell Bill Wolf's story about crack. Uh, so, so my cousin Bill Wolf, he was... Uh, <laughs> When he was living down in L.A., he he uh, <laughs> he wanted to just you know uh, he's always heard about it, and you see a lot of people uh, walking around like crazies in L.A., and it's hard to understand where they're coming from, and you want to know if uh, you know I don't know for me I just I want to understand people, so I thought I got to get a taste of this. I mean, uh, <laughs> Bill Wolf's got to get fucking taste of this. Yeah, see, mine was actually Sorry, by another person. Get, he just ruined himself. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, it's a split. You know, it's yeah. It's, uh, sometimes I wonder if he's he's yeah. Anyway, he's yeah. So, um, so he goes down there and um, he parks his car a couple blocks away and I mean, and it's Bill's story, but you can say it like first person if it's easier. Yeah, it's yeah. Just you know, whatever. Way. So, so anyway. I'm just gonna keep saying him. It's fine. Right. So he goes. To, he goes down there, and um, and then he sees a couple people walking uh, on the street, and um, he was like, "Hey, what you guys up to? How are you doing, or whatever?" And um, this old, this old uh, uh, lady, like a, I guess a crack whore, a crack whore. Yeah, I think that's what we call <laughs> Your her. Your mother. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> she's. <laughs> It's all right. She's like, um, she's like, yo, what up? You know, like what, what you need, honey? And um, and he Tyrone was like, uh, you, know, you know, I want. Uh, how about some crack? <laughs> and <laughs> how's your uh, crack tonight, this hour? Yeah. And so she was like, uh, well, you know, how much, how much you want, and all this stuff. What do you got? And and she was just kind of, you know, looked very um, cracked out. N- yeah, not not well off. And uh, <laughs> as you, the you know, was unbalanced. How, how shocking! A crackhead doesn't look well off. Then this other this other uh, uh, gentleman uh, was walking uh, nearby her, and he looked a little bit better off. <laughs> Still terrible, but he looked a little bit better. And um, and uh, yeah, so I was asking him, uh, or he, Bill was, you know, I get confused sometimes <laughs> with the <this> storytelling. <laughs> I, I, it's easier to tell somebody else's story as your own. Yeah. So if I say me, then it's fine. But. Um, so anyway, uh, fuck it. So I, so I was like, uh, "Hey, um, uh, guy, uh, you wanna, 
you know, can I take you somewhere? You want to get in my car and, and maybe uh, you know, we can talk if you, if you got this uh, stuff or whatever? I'm surprised the guy and didn't just go like, oh, you're going to suck my dick? Because that's how that <laughs> no, sounds. No, well, that's no. I mean, we talked, you All know, right. I mentioned, yeah, obviously I mentioned illicit uh, uh, stuff beforehand. <laughs> but um, And, uh, yeah, he was like, yeah, yeah, I can help you or whatever. And I was like, okay, well, uh, here, come with me. We'll get in my car. And the uh, uh, other um, crack whore lady or whatever, she was like uh, – she was like, hey, this, you know, like my customer or whatever. <laughs> and he was like, fuck off, bitch. Or whatever. <laughs> and uh, so we ditched her and, and we got uh, we got in the car. And um, <laughs> and so we we like start driving on the free. I'm like, so where can I take you or whatever? And he's like, <laughs> he's like Any, anywhere. <laughs> He has he's no like, place to he's be. He's like, we're already at my home. <laughs> yeah, he's all, he actually he was at his right. home, so he put you to the car. <laughs> to yeah. the yeah. car. I'm actually I'm actually hurting him by taking him away from his <laughs> house. Uh, so um, so anyway, you know, I ask him. I go, so yeah. Anyway, uh, you know, look and uh, see if you have any uh, that, uh, that, that that rock that, that crack, you know. And and he pulls out uh, his little uh, little uh, clear vial, clear pipe thing oh. or whatever, and. Uh, he s- decides uh, he'll just um, start doing some of it now that we're in your car. talking about it. Yeah, well, you know, I'll roll down the window a little oh bit, please. <laughs> Don't get the stink Hop in the seat. Crack smoke. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so then we, um, I pull off to a secluded area, <laughs> and yeah, um, and uh, he, um, he. Uh, uh, you know, whatever. I asked him, yeah. So I'd like to 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 partake in some, please. <laughs> and and so he passes it over, and I ask him if he can like uh, light it or whatever, because because uh, you know Bill's never done anything like that before, and he doesn't know what to do. So so he takes it a- into his mouth, and um and the guy lights it, and he just kind of starts inhaling, uh, just not too much, because he doesn't want to get too much and when he exhales what he doesn't feel like was a very long hit um a thousand mile long cloud (laughs) comes out of his lungs (laughs) and about (laughs) about 15 seconds later what seemed like was just the normal pace of reality all of a sudden becomes like fucking Mario touching one of those stars and it just <laughs> bum, 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 ba-dum, 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 and everything just starts going fucking a thousand miles a minute. Um, and I look, o- but I'm still sitting. <laughs> I'm still sitting in one spot and I, and I just look over to the dude and I just start. Yeah, which he just hit like three of these Jesus. fucking hits and he's just sitting there as calm as can be <laughs> and i just look at him and i i start going you just killed me you you just killed me <laughs> hey, like that's what you kept i'm saying? i'm yeah i said you killed me you, i'm dying right now you killed me and all he does is look at me and he just goes mhm <laughs> <laughs> he didn't give a fuck oh. he was like if you kill if you get killed then i guess i got a fucking new home in this fucking car <laughs> um but uh, so I couldn't just sit there. I got out. Of, I got out of the car and I just start walking around aimlessly. <laughs> you left on him the in your street. car. <laughs> I left him in the car. I had the keys. Oh. I, I, I mean, yeah, I had the keys. I'm sure he didn't just um, shit in your yeah. car. A fucking. He's, he's like, I finally have a toilet seat. Yeah, give it a, make a little <laughs> soup kitchen. <laughs> oh. But yeah, so I just started. I started walking around real fast and and didn't. I like. I, just I didn't know what I was doing or where I was going. I was just walking around. Um, How long does it last? Trying to. Uh, I would I would say it it wasn't more than probably five to ten minutes. Wow. Um, that oh. that real intensity of, of the whole thing was it enjoyable um, or was it just fucking bonkers? I mean, I guess uh, compare it to like cocaine, but like multiplied by yeah, like by like like when when you first hit like coke, and, and you get that initial rush a, a few minutes uh, later, and it lasts for about thirty minutes. Mm. Intensify that by like five to ten it, within like five minutes. You know, oh it's it's God. like sounds like yeah. a, sounds like a heart attack in in, in a pipe. No, nah, that's what it, it felt like. Fun. But I guess the more you do it or get accustomed to it, then it's probably you. you I whatever. I don't know. I, it scared me enough to <laughs> never want to fuck know. with that yeah. shit it again. Me. It <laughs> fucking killed me. <laughs> it reminds me of an old Bill Marjorie where he said, uh, "He's like, he's like, yeah, I never got into coke. He's like, if I wanted to be anxious, if I wanted to be anxious, I'd go to work." <laughs> <laughs> did you when you did it? Did you? Or like when you got your bearings, so to speak, or when Bill did, uh, did right. you? Were you like, oh, I totally understand why people get hooked on this? 
No, uh, you were terrified. Not at all. Yeah, I was <laughs> just like, me. this you is the worst. Me. This is the worst. So tell us about the second time Bill did crack. <laughs> <laughs> was that better? Yeah, no, there was never. Unfortunately, there was never a second time. No, that was enough. That was enough. And I, I mean, I don't know if that's if that's what it is that um, is causing those people. I think, honestly, the more and more I think about it, and the more um, the experiences I've had with homeless people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the I, I, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I like talking to homeless people as much as uh, people that enjoy talking to the elderly like talking to the elderly. If that makes any yeah. sense, to just get the a different life perspective. I just, I like it. I don't know. Everybody's got a story. You don't know what theirs is, and by just li- thinking they're yeah, a piece of crack. shit because they're sitting on the side <laughs> of the street. I don't think you're giving them a, sh- a fair shot at oh, finding out Phil. how they ended up there. I think the vast majority so of them ended listen, up there because Listen to next week stable. when I start my new podcast, uh, Phil interviews Phil. homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. I don't think they can Skype yeah. with you. Crackhead Phil and Dr. Phil. Um. Uh, uh, I had a question on, um, uh, or no, actually not a question, but uh, wanted to do a quick movie review of a mm. movie. Uh, have you seen Midsommar? No, not yet. Have you seen it? I Midsummer. Midsummer. It's spelled M I D S O M M A R or one M. I don't know. Midsummer. It's by the guy that did Is Hereditary. Mid Midsummer's wet, wet dream. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. He he only made himself <laughs> chuckle, not even laugh. Boo. He hated that coming out of his mouth when it happened. I was trying. I was trying to suppress it. <laughs> yeah, I was okay. Have you seen it though? No, I haven't seen the movie. It's <laughs> fucking. It's a. Uh, two hours of a buildup of nothing. It's so fucking boring. It's uh, why is everyone it's not scary. It? I don't, dude. Jordan Peele was like, oh, this guy's a master. I don't know. Maybe how he filmed it is supposed to be special. But the guy from so Peele so is a movie master because he made one good he, movie and one that was mediocre. So what was? <laughs> so this director, he'd only made one other movie that was any good. I don't know. He made Hereditary, which I liked, which was oh, a scary movie. Right. I just watched Hereditary for the, the first time out? like about a week ago. Uh, I thought it was really, yeah, I thought it was really good. It was really creepy for sure. Dude, when she's on um, the wall in his bedroom? Yeah, yeah, uh, no, it dude, was. Do scary I, movies actually scare you or is it just like, because they're, ent- they're entertaining to me, like they're interesting, but they're not like, I'm not like, ooh, yeah. ooh I, I, to, to turn the lights on. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. It sucks like, as I've gotten older, man. I don't really get scared yeah. by horror movies anymore, yeah. but like, I definitely find them like, you know. I love them. I love you know, a good one, like a good it, story it, it, creepy. too. Creepy. Yeah. 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 You know what scares me? The police. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I liked uh, when he was on, went solo. Oh. <laughs> Jay put his head like down that. as he said, and I was laughing at Jay put his head down. Not the joke. I loved it. Fucking <laughs> yuck. Uh, us being back together uh-huh. is bringing out all these fucking awful jokes. Um, anyways, Midsummer. It's just so. It's about um, the Roxanne. What? God. It's about Roxanne. Okay. So they, uh, I fucking blew it up. My bad. I'm sorry, everybody. Overdid these, it. these college kids, they go to one of their buddies is an exchange student from, I think it's Sweden or something. And they go to his, where his family is in the secluded, like fucking woods. And he, they have their midsummer, uh, fucking like festival. And then from there, there's all these weird traditions and, uh, yeah, it's like, a, it's a lot of build up. I mean, I, I won't spoil it for you, but it's just, to me, it's like a lot of buildup, and there's no payoff, and it's there's no really scary shit. Mm. There's a couple parts that you're like, oh, it's kind of creepy, but eh, it's fucking. I like the suspenseful movies mm. better. Like I like I love Seven, like the movie yeah. Seven. Yeah, but that was like it's that's not necessarily right. scary, but it's fucking yeah. Yeah, I like that kind of movie. Like if there's a guy out there, you know, whacking, yeah. you know, serial killer, and like a little, a, little, a touch more reality. I don't like yeah. when it gets into the. Uh, Mysticism. Then it's like, all right, what, you know, what is the fucking Lord of the Rings with, with a hatchet? Yeah. You know, like what, what yeah. We got see, here? I think that's interesting because for me, I think it is more um, supernatural type shit that would have a better opportunity well, at scaring me than it would crack. be like <laughs> serial killers and shit. Because yeah. probably a serial killer, I could, I could probably find myself um, being one, empathizing with them more. <laughs> 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 like, well, those motherfuckers just pissed him off. <laughs> uh, and we got to do our, uh, we got to do our worthlesses of the week, Ooh. or worthless or this worthy. You can do worthless or worthy. Are we going to do it where you do a worthy and I do a worthless, um, or just whatever? Yeah. Is there a spider up there? What are you looking at? <laughs> Uh, Crack <laughs> my thoughts. Yeah. I was looking at my thoughts, Jay. Um, I, I know my worthless of the week. Oh, fuck. I'm so angry. Okay, why don't you do your worthless okay. first? So I, uh, I d- 
did a purchase. I tried to do buy something. My worthless of the week. The quick answer is fucking uh, Bank of America, oh. a- and from Bank of America. Hold on. Uh, specifically, LaCordia Lewis <laughs> is a fucking cunt. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. So I for his last name on a good. Oh, dude. Hot take. Hot take. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I tried to make a purchase um, through B and H, which was like 800 bucks. B and H Photo. Yeah. Out of New York, they're fucking. Mm-hmm. They have great deals. I tried to buy something. It was like 800 bucks. I got the. You know, this was declined by your bank. Then I get a text message from my bank. Did you do these last three charges? So I reply yes. It goes okay. Good. Go ahead and make the purchase. I try like five more times. Keeps declining it. So then I tried it through PayPal, and it went through. But it went through on B&H's site, but it never took the money out of my account. So I'm like, did it go through? I don't know. Let me cancel the order through B&H's website. I call Bank of America, talk to this guy. He's like, yeah, I don't know. It should have gone through, or you shouldn't have this. Let me clear it. He goes, I cleared it now. Try it now. I say to him, I go, if I do this, is PayPal going to charge me or not? Yeah. And he's like, no, you canceled the order. It's on the weekend. You should be fine. So I try and do it. doesn't go through. He's like, i got to get you to another department. Let's explain the whole story to this lady. Again, asked her, I don't want to wake up tomorrow. I'll be overdrawn. Are you sure the PayPal one's not going to go through? Nope, it won't go through. Try it now. I try it. It goes through on my card. Next day, I wake up. I'm overdrawn. I'm at like negative $7. <laughs> um, I fucking call Bank of America, and I explain it to multiple people. They keep saying, oh, you got to just wait till it goes through. And I go... Uh, you just say thank you for the great customer yeah. service. I'm like, oh, so you you want me to? What do I do today on negative seven dollar balance? And so um, I said to him, so I start saying, I go, what if I have to get medicine? What if I had to get medicine today? And then yeah. uh, I get this supervisor, Lacordia Lewis, this cunt. And I said to her, I'm like, how am I supposed to get my medicine? Or no, one of the reps asked me, what medicine do you need to get? And I go, really? Bank of America wants to know my medical history? You really want to <laughs> ask me that? So when then she put Lacordia on. Uh, I, she said, well, you said what if, I, sh- I listened to the call. You said, what if I need medicine? I go, yeah, I need medicine. And she's like, well, sir, if you, you said what if, I mean, if this was a life or death, I go, okay, it's a life or death. And so she fucking put me on hold, uh, or no, said she was going to call me tw- 20 minutes later, going to listen to the message, never called me back. Weird. I called somebody else, got a different rep. Handled it. Fixed it. And so LaCordia Lewis is my fucking worthless of the week. That fucking cunt. She's one of those chicks. That, <laughs> she's one of those people that, like, when you go to them in the store or at the bank and you ask them a question, and they just ask, that's, that's not my job. And they oh, give you yeah. no direction. Yeah. That, not my job. It's like, yeah. well, no, well, do you know whose job yeah, it is? exactly. Give me something. Fucking, you know, oh, you so annoying. That's my worthless of the week. Top that, Phil. I like it. Um, with the worthy, huh? Or it can be a worthless or a worthy. Whatever you want. <clears throat> well, I was I think for the wor- for the worthless I was going to say it was going to be the fucking coffee shop bagel guy. But um we kind of started the show off with that. So, I will say that um my worthy of the week um Oh god. Uh, boy. What? I know. <laughs> I don't know if I have one. Uh, <laughs> no, I do. I'll just say uh fucking I'm going to I'm going to stick with the whole tennis thing. I've been I was stuck watching Wimbledon this whole last like I was just oh, I get I'm sucked sorry. into it. That sucks. I'm all about it. Oh, you didn't no, mean like you're I, stuck. I love it. You big tennis okay, fan? you know what? No, no. You know okay, what? We go. won't go with Wimbledon. I'll tell you I'll tell you my worthy of the week. Um I went and saw uh Cage the Elephant uh and Beck this last weekend you and, saw and what? I will say uh huh? You saw what? I went to a concert oh. where they play music, Jay. What's Cage the um, Elephant? It's a band, it's uh, band for those of us that are living in 2019. He's Cage the um, elephant, Jesus. They play, uh, they play rock. Phil's hit. They play rock we're, music. We're too old for this oh, yeah. shit, and we Do like, and we like hip hop. That makes is us. Is it really rock, or is it some fucking? I will just say, pop? I watched them perform, and the lead singer, um, fucking looked like. He, I mean, he was embodying a young Mick Jagger. The guy, mm. the way the guy performed and danced on the stage, I mean, he had long hair. Skinny, fucking shaking those hips, making those moves yeah. like Jagger. Huh? Oh, did you blow him after the show? When you sucked him <laughs> off, did you More put your hands once? on his knees or the dumpster oh, behind him? <laughs> I fucking, I was fucking doing the both hands around the fucking thing, making sure it was lubed up. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> so that's your worthy is caged animal, and Ugh. that's his name, right? You just don't like how I'm saying it. Cage, the oh, elephant. Cage the elephant. Sorry. Cage the Elephant, that's your Cage worthy of the week. And the lead singer's name is Matt Schultz. So my worthy of the week goes out to Matt Schultz. You don't like of the rest Cage of the, the band? Elephant. <laughs> I'm just saying his performances, I didn't, I've I never mean, the really ma- the whole seen band them might perform like a little before. Appreciation. 
the whole band was great. Beck was pretty good too. Uh, but Matt like Schultz Beck. takes it for me. Matt is Schultz is my fucking worthy of the week, Jay. <laughs> Can we just get through it? Right. Who's my worthy of the week? Really adamant, cage, there you cage go. Cage the animal. Cage the elephant. Sorry. Cage I'm going to fucking cage you and send you down to the border. Oh, sorry. It's all right. I don't need to hear him. Do you, uh, <laughs> do you have a, a worthy or I worthless, wish you were f- Randy? Fucking uh, undocumented. <laughs> worthy of the week. I mean, I'll say the worthy is my is the car I just bought, making it fucking oh, yeah. all the way out here, dude, with no with no problems other other than uh, getting impounded for a few hours. Oh, dude, that's uh, um, that should be your worthless is the fucking worthless is what is is well. I only I would only like to blame myself for for having driven through a uh, uh you know a state that's that seems to be operating in the in the wrong century. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I, the. the it, I don't know how the, I don't know how their rule their, their law is going to hold up when the rest of the country progresses and they just stick in 1955. But uh, but look, I crazy. I'll say, say what you want about my bad experience. I still love uh, the great state of Texas. Um, you know, just got, got, you know had a weird experience that I hope to clear up. All right, that's one place I would consider fucking moving to. So it's I, I mean, might have to yeah, move there for know. a year. So yeah, we'll <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you did? No, I might have to. So can you stick oh. to oh, oh, right. the yeah, case. no shit. <laughs> Hold, uh, hey Jay. Yes. Um, is there anything else that we do to wrap it up? Well, we got to do our plugs. Okay, good. Do that. I'm I'm working on one thing real quick oh. that I want to put on oh, here. Okay, so keep great. keep going. Oh God, he's got a soundboard or something. All right. No, no. Do you no, have any no. shows you want to plug, or what do you want? To uh, plug? This is coming out tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, obviously, the Ready Set Blow podcast every Wednesday. Ready Set Blow. Ready Set Blow. Me and Chase Abel cut it up. Uh, we've had you on the podcast. Yeah. You can find uh, Big Irish Jay's episode on there. And then August second, I will be going back uh, to feature at Chase's first headline date at Nick's Comedy that, Stop. Yeah, I saw that. That's, I'm happy for him. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So. Uh, if any, any Boston listeners out there, come check out Chase Abel headlining on August 2nd, next Comedy Stop. I'll be there. Uh, he's got a ton of cool guests lined up, too. Nice. Chase, Chase has a lot of connections in the comedy world, so it'll be a good show. It'll be a good time. Nice. And what's your what's all your uh, yeah, uh, social media? I prefer to go with Instagram. I'm on, I'm on them all. I'm on Facebook and, and Twitter. I have a very small Twitter following. So I, think it's, I think Twitter's insidious and not worth <laughs> it. But Instagram, at Randy Valerio. That's the one. Spell Instagram. your last name. R-A-N-D-Y-V-A-L-E-R-I-O. All right. And I'm at Big Irish Jay at everything. I will be at Harvey's in Portland, Oregon this weekend. A uh, week after that, I'll be at Brad Garrett's and then uh, for a week. And then the weekend after that, uh, I'll be at Skyline Comedy Club in Appleton, Wisconsin. And Phil, what do you want to plug? His butt. Uh, I, I will just, yes, I will plug uh, my butt um, with uh, Matt Schultz's dick. Thank you, ladies. No, um, <laughs> I... Uh, um, I'm going to be here, man. Uh, you find me here every week on the like Holly's Worthless Podcast at LikeTheAnimal on Twitter.com backslash LikeTheAnimal. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, it's, IG is like the an- everything like the animal. Uh, so what's this thing you wanted to do? And what I wanted to say is, is ladies and gentlemen, uh, come on, motherfucker. I'm doing it right now. I see. Um, so what I have to say is, as of this very moment, you guys can email us. Is what I'm oh. trying to talk about. Remember, we said we were going to have Are the email. Are you setting it up right now? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> nothing, That's nothing right. Like you were supposed to fucking have it minute. set up. You have the best producer <laughs> in the podcast. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> I know. We're real professional here. What do you mean? We, we you let said you, know you were that. doing it. <laughs> I did do it. I did it right now. Okay. What is it? Okay. So the it's email be is so long. I know. Sorry. Uh, no, the email is hwppod at gmail.com. So it's so Collins to, Worthless Podcast Pod at. No, that's too H-W-P-pod. long. It's easy. hwppod at gmail.com. So H- hwppod. That's right. Okay. At gmail.com. For P- Even though I what? understand the P and hwp stands for. Yeah, why wouldn't you just do program, hwpod? hwp pod at <laughs> gmail.com if you want to write us in right. and tell us anything you want right. that email might be getting updated in the next week <laughs> all right now okay so it's on record phil you're gonna monitor that email i am monitoring that email yes i just i just fucking created it i have <laughs> i'm looking at the inbox the email now next week uh, when he figures out he fucked that yeah. one yeah 
So far, we got one email from Andy. <laughs> he works at Google, and he's happy to hear that we're here. All right. So, so when Phil you, doesn't Andy. reply Write to us those, uh, just start messaging him on Instagram at like if the If you've animal. ever wanted to know what two idiots had to think about whatever you yeah, had you to tell us. you want dating advice? You want drug advice? We can get Bill Wolf's opinion. Yeah. All right. Let us know. Write us in. Want to hear about Smoke it. Smoke the crack Or kids. you can just tell us to fuck off. <laughs> All right. And we'll talk about that, too. And you know how else we end it? Uh, all right later if you if a person fucking listens to this till the end yeah you deserve a prize your prize (laughs) is to go to itunes and rate or review this podcast (laughs) give it five stars you motherfuckers If I can say something nice, <laughs> oh, you fucks! I'm dying right now. <laughs> you motherfuckers! I've been doing this fucking piece of shit for five years. I'm averaging about two fucking reviews a year. <laughs> Go fucking write some, oh you motherfuckers! Oh, oh fuck! That is the realest I've ever oh, heard you. God. Yeah, dude. What the fuck?